Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> What's up, people? <laughs> Before we start, how many people are panicking right now? <laughs> how many people are going crazy? Look at that spike to the low. Look at them take the piss. Look at them take the piss. <laughs> What's going on, people, man? <laughs> Oh shit, man. That is crazy. What's good, Sonny, man? What's good? What's happening, people? What's good? Ah, oh, man. I mean, look, yeah, you, technically, Yasu Yan is, um, technically, I mean, unless you unless you took a short, you shouldn't be even in the trade. Unless you took a short. Now I know, granted, some people did take a short today. All right. I'm good, man. To be honest with you, I've got the I've got the baddest migraine going. So this live tonight is just gonna be. It's going to be a short one. We ain't going to go on no mad session. But tonight, um, Mike Dutch, he's got a podcast with a gentleman who is wired. When I say he's wired, he is charged up. He is all about crypto security. That's the concept of tonight's podcast, crypto security. So, you know, talking about private wallets, you know, how to do all of that stuff completely out of my league i'll tell you that yeah tonight i need to finish early so that i can get a good night's sleep ready for tomorrow you know but what i need to do i wasn't actually going to go live tonight but i needed to go live tonight to establish a couple of things all right just to help people remain focused but the concept of today is fast in fast out that's what you need to understand yeah Johnny, this is the name of the game, bro. This is the name of the game. It's, it's, this is it. But you know what? When it comes back up, everyone will be all good. PC Shed, how you doing, brother? Kano, Chris. You know, people need to understand, like, this is normal behavior by the market makers. And it's not anything that we didn't expect either. You know, you guys should be aware by now. It's not anything that we, ex dis you know, haven't expected. Look at what they did earlier on today. What do we know about green candles? Pushing price up to get their shorts at higher possible prices. Then what? They reverse. Look what happened. Now what they're doing is they're riding on all the fear of everyone. Now Bitcoin's dropping. Bitcoin's dropping. Everyone's going crazy. That's why I've got the thumbnail, whatever it's called now. Bitcoin drop part two. You know? Donatello, what's happening, bro? Gritania, how you doing? <laughs> Will, I said Bitcoin would retrace. But if you, if I don't know if you're in the patrons or not, okay. But I said when Bitcoin hits the range daily high, expect the retrace from there. Price will pull back, and she did exactly just that. And I'm going to be pulling up some images tonight, and I'm going to talk you through how you could prepare yourself for a move like this. My projection zone still in play, guys. That's the long term for me, you know? But you have to understand what happened here, all right? This move played out perfectly. Rise, now it's collapsed. It has pulled back completely. Something is triggering this. We got fundamentals. I know we got options expirations happening this week. So market makers, as we say all the time, they can do whatever they want, whenever they want. We have to be prepared. You know, two year long projection. <laughs> oh, pal, I, I believe you are the pessimist. <laughs> does it? Yeah, it does. Gerben, it does. Listen, there's a listen. There's a pattern in the weekly, pattern in the monthly, pattern in the daily, pattern in the four hour, pattern in the one. Pattern in the 30, pattern in the 15, all right? There's patterns all over the place. 
The idea is to find the sweet spot and trade from there. Nice, I like that. Sell the news of Tesla accepting Bitcoin. No, who said, yeah. Was that it? Because I haven't actually looked. The news that Tesla was accepting Bitcoin. Well, if Tesla's accepting Bitcoin, you're effectively creating a new economy there. Of course, you're going to smack price down. Try and gather as much of it as you can at the lowest possible price and then move out. Anna, well done. Well, look, if you saw the green candle, uh, guys, I can't tell you when to enter. I can't tell you when to exit. You know, I'll give you the mental framework. We knew, right, I'm going to get straight into it, but let me just acknowledge, is everyone all good this evening? Besides the fact that Bitcoin's dropping, everyone is panicking and no one in this channel should be panicking. You know, I'm, I'm guessing this is a red candle right now on the 15 minute time frame. Of course it is. What do we know about candles? Vectors, one, two, three. Final push to the downside. All right, let's see if this candle holds it. Holding near the M1 zone. Range daily low in sight. Putin. Crypto, the word means big C. I don't know, I don't care. It's all BS. Get in, get out where you can. All the wisdom in the world it means squat when they can do what they want when they want. True. Straight pipping. It's true, bro. That's true. Tesla will accept Bitcoin and not turn it into fiat. Really? Is that what the news was? It will always pull back to 50 and then move back now. Matthew, it will always pull back to the 50 day. But from the 50 day, you need to wait for confirmation to see if the 50 day holds. The Patreons knew about this, you know, and updated everyone. I let them know. And even today in the stream, uh, in the Discord today, it was there. Uh, how many people, let's be honest now, how many people took a trade today and didn't stick to a two hour rule? Admit it, if you did. If you didn't, if you did stick to the 20, um, two hour rule, happy days. If you didn't, admit it. You can't determine the bull runs over from one single move. I mean, let's take from the high down to there. They've moved effectively. I mean, not from that point. That wouldn't be valid. Here we go. So from the high here down to here where it finished, Bitcoin's moved 20, 29,620, sorry, 29,632 pips to the downside, right? That's within its average daily range. It's now... As it, this price has just opened, it's moved 27,000, all right? So it's still well within its average range to drop a little bit more. But will it drop? Who knows? If anyone wants, if anyone's looking to become a Patreon, okay, don't become a Patreon yet. Because if you go for it now, you'll be charged. And then the start of the month, you'll be charged again. That's how Patreon works. So I've got to, I've got to tell you that because there's no point in paying twice. You know? So just wait till the end of the month. And that way you can start. But the links are all in the description anyway. Thank you. What's up, Malcolm? Okay, then. I did, I did, burning myself on purpose as candles though. Just watch less than one of your series. I have to say, well worth it. Very much believe in Thank you very much, David. Thank you. But guys, it is it, the nature of this game. Everything in this channel is here for you guys, all right? There's enough for you guys to contend with. You know, play it back over and over again. It will get in your minds, all right? This is something that I've said from the start, okay? I have no interest in what price Bitcoin is. It does not phase me. It's, I, if a trader doesn't care about price, he only uses it as a point of annotation in the sense where it's like a, it's, it's effectively like a pivot point or um, like a trend line, a part of where the moving average is. It, for me, I don't care what price is. 52, 51, 48, I don't care. The reason why is because when you come away from, have, you know, having a value of price. If you think Bitcoin is worth 42, which means that, you know, that's when the longs are going to step in to buy it up, right? You're starting to have an opinion and that means you'll be married to that opinion. 
which means if you're going long at 42, you're going to make yourself believe that 42 is a sound place because everyone believes 42 is the ideal place to get Bitcoin at value. And then what you realize happens is price, price starts to drop. You're at 39 and you're saying, yeah, you know, it should come back. You know, if it's at 39, that must mean guys, you know, are really looking forward to getting a lot of Bitcoin at 39. Then it goes to 38, 37 and you're still holding the trade like some donut burning your money all because you're married to the idea of what value is right you keep adjusting the concept of value in price so i say it to you all the time i have no interest in what price bitcoin is if i could get rid of price okay i'd be happy with that all i need is pivotal points okay i call it m4 m3 m2 m1 they are based on values yes they are but it's the equations that help me determine these zones all right Hands up, I ain't call you a donut, bro, man. There's no donuts in here. People are panicking, man. This this is the candle that will push it back up. Recover the red candle. You watched it happen last night. It's going to happen again. Nice stream yesterday with PC shit. What the fuck? Did you mean that, bro? Because the I is way far away from the E. Please tell me you didn't mean that, bro. What's my Bitcoin price prediction end of the year, bro? Daniel, my friend, I wish I could refund you your chat right there, bro, because... I will never give a prediction of Bitcoin at the end of the year. I wouldn't do it to you. You know, that's that's just false. It's who knows what it's going to be at the end of the year, right? If we look at what Bitcoin was doing earlier on, people were prospecting that Bitcoin was going to keep rising and rising, okay? I've even got my happy days projection zone, which is exactly where I'm, I expect it to go still, all right? People are talking. I mean, I'm going to look at the higher time frames, okay? Look at the higher time frames. Look at where she is. What did we speak about last night? Go back in last night's stream. What did we speak about? Last night I said, even if Bitcoin was to come back down and touch the 200 day, which she hasn't done for a little while, if she does do that, which is what she did here, it's likely that she's going to bounce and move so far up. Are we about to take that next bounce? What have they been doing on the four hourly? I'm seeing buys, man. Buy, 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 buy. I'm, that's all I see. I don't see shorts. Where are my green candles at? Where are they? Do you understand? Look, the shorts are here. One, two, three, four. Look right. Candle, 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 candle. Everything's coming back to recover it. If we look at where the zone is right here, have they actually achieved what they've wanted oh god don't even tell me oh my god who can see it who can see it i need to see if anyone can see it did anyone see what i can see just now did anyone see it if you were watching the charts right now did anyone see it call me cynical do whatever you want but tell me if you just saw what i saw Peter, tell me you saw it. Right, let's let's discuss it. Let's discuss it. Here we go. Is the concept flawed? Let's cause the people are loving to call it out. Okay. But look at where the wick is, right? And look left. Let's zoom in and have a look. Let's do it again. Alright, let's start here. Where's the wick? Alright? Let's go left. Let's enjoy ourselves a little bit. Sorry, but what the fuck is that? I'm sorry. Now, is that coincidence or are we just doing it again like from the last stream where it was on the lower time frames? 
Yeah, but look where it finished. Are you now seeing it? Pow, listen, for me, I'm not interested in the three year, man. It's too much for me. It's, it's too far away. I'm not interested. That's just factoring way too much. If you, as if it looks like you're a, I hope I'm saying your name correctly as well, my friend, but I'm a short term day trader. Okay. The highest time frame I would ever, ever go is the four hourly. For that, that is like far and few. For demonstration purposes, look what's just happened. That's exactly what I'm talking. But other than that, for me, it's all about the short term. Look, look, you need to understand this, guys. We understand that when market makers build positions, all right, they build their positions at a certain point. Here, they're building longs. Sorry, they're building shorts, right? They're pushing price up. They come back to the 50 day in this instance, because look, there was a W right there. We traded that, all right? They come up and this is when they started to get their monies in. They built their shorts from here. Up it goes, up it goes. And look, short, short, short. They're getting their shorts. You're saying to me that all this buying power that people conceive it to be, excuse me, <clears throat> If we look at the, if we consider the fact of pressure, you're saying to me that after all that move to the upside, it's only going to pull back down because there's not enough pressure here. Oh, come on, man. Come on, man. You really need, like, please don't fool yourself. All right. I mean, look, like, <laughs> just look left, right on the open there, and then look where it finished. The candle there. I don't care even if price is to completely come back down and collapse. Fundamentally, that's where it stopped. Right now, they're starting to get their money in good. They've come to the 200 day and it's been a while since they've been at the 200 day. When were they? When did they last do it? 28th of February. We're near enough a month ago. And for a past month, it's been rising, 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 rising. Okay? That is just, for, for me, I mean, it's... Like I say to you, I'm always trying to disprove the system. Always, because it gives me room to effectively better myself in the strategy. But when you understand the concept behind what they're trying to do, this sort of thing here, the open of that candle when they first started building their shorts, to the close of this candle, to the fucking pip. To the pip, it's exactly right on the nose. It's just, it's just baffling. I'm sorry, it's baffling. I need to take a sip of my tea. Ludo, you see? And I'm glad, look, Ludo, I'm glad you've said that. Because I ain't even going to go look at Ethereum. Because if you're doing it yourselves, happy days. I agree, producer vibes. Technical analysis is straight bullshit. This is pure psychological I'm talking here, man. And I said it last night in the stream. Before anything is, before technical analysis is just technical analysis, it's always psychological. Always psychological. That's that's my opinion. That is my opinion. That's what's helped me in my trading career. I stand to be corrected. You know. But I'm gonna what I'm gonna do today, in tonight's stream. The purpose of tonight's stream was to go over the moving averages. Okay. But I'm gonna explain to you about today's price action. I mean, look, if we can't help but pay attention to the fact that they are recovering the previous red candle. You saw it happen last night. You saw it in a few more other streams. Okay, naturally, we expect what? We expect price to return back to the 50-day moving average. Are we seeing the start of a new formation? What do we know about the formations? All right, so look, let's look at it from the hourly, okay? This W formation, lasted only for a short period of time it wasn't near it wasn't at a moving average okay it was near so you do get the inkling that is this pattern going to play out and move greatly to the upside you trade what you see price rose big green candle no continuation in, in the sense where market makers 
weren't putting the pressure to move price higher up. They hit the moving average one, hit it twice, took out the range daily high. Patreons knew what I, I called the... I did say that price would hit the 57,177 and I was wrong. It hit the 57,200 because I thought it would hit the 57,177 and pull back. Instead, it hit the 57,200. So it was above our expectations. All right. I hate it when it does that. And I'm being sincere when I say that. Notice, look, what do we know about that candle? When we see a spike and the candle is colored, and it starts to come back to its previous, um, the previous position that it opened at. What do we call that? What do we call that, guys? Merlin, ask that question in a sec, bro. Hold on. There you go, Kuba. Good man. Good man. Kuba got it on the nose, guys. Kuba got it on the nose. All right, it's a stopping volume candle. Stopping volume candle. However, this is true. This is true. This stopping volume candle is taking stops out. All right, it is taking stops out. It's also taking liquidity because look at the word that's on the street. All right, look at the word on the street. People are saying, oh, Bitcoin's going to drop here. Bitcoin's going to do this. The fear alone. All right. Also notice that where you drew the line, normally that would be safe the entry of the tax view. This is the hourly. Pancho, this is the hourly. Okay. Entries are always on the 15 minute. This is the hourly. Okay. Look. We said, we said to the patrons today, there's two things that can happen. Price can either come out of the zone, retrace, continue up, or it can completely go straight to the high. It can completely take everything out. This was effectively the small pullback. You could have traded on that basis because that is still deemed as the pullback. If we look down at the five minute, rise out, one pullback, the bigger pullback, your entry, rise, retrace, continuation to the upside. Okay. We anticipated that the high, okay, would have been hit, which it did there. It pulled back slightly, but look at how many times this has happened to people. It comes in, price comes in and taps the highs, which it did over here. It took out the zone, but it snapped back down again. Okay. Now here's an example of the two hour rule. All right. Look. Price needed to rise up and retrace. It needs to come back to the 50 day, as we always said. Always has to come back to the 50 day. All right? Even on the hourly. Where are we at? From this point here, rise, retrace, continuation to the upside. That's a fake move. Because if you were to wait for the retrace on the 50 day, naturally you would have redrew, re, sorry, redrew the pattern. You would have waited for that to happen. Oh my God, this is terrible. There you go. See? Are they trapping buyers now? Everyone's running for cover right now. Everyone wants to go short. Peter, you've been saying it consistently today, my friend. And you know what? You did good, bruv. You know, you did good. Is Binance real? This is, you know what, guys? This is, I mean, look. This is why I don't, I haven't endorsed... That's why I haven't given you no affiliate link to Binance, BitBuy, Bybit, whatever it is, okay? Because we know the agenda. I'm trying to get you guys.
to understand the game as cheaply as possible. All right? As cheaply as possible. If I can get you guys to learn. Merlin, I'll ask you, I'll ask you for it in a minute, my friend. Don't worry. I want to try and get you guys to learn as cheaply as possible. Don't make the mistake I made where I was continuously losing and I got good at losing. That's the messed up thing. I got good at it. I, I, it became a habit. Yeah. And that's what it was for me. Now I'm going to try and make, do my very best to explain that concept to you every single day in these streams. Migraines, my daughter crying in whatever chaos that's happening in my life. I'm going to make sure I'm going to get this information over to you guys. Just remember, the one thing I'll tell you to take away from this. Okay. <laughs> Christian, I'll take that, man. Yep, I'll take that <laughs> all day. But what I want to get you, what I want to get you to understand is this. These are the key things I want from you. Okay, write this down if you have to. Now I'm not no guru. I'm not no, you know, I don't. I'm not no authority in the game. This channel is completely dedicated to my ex expression of trading. I love the game. I'm passionate about it. It's everything that I stand for. Take what you wish from it. Taken two schools of thought, married them together, created a hybrid. All right? That hybrid has allowed me a lot of flexibility in my life. And that I'm grateful for. Okay? Plus, with all the people that I've met in my life, people within the industry, you know, I've had... I mean, I'm 35. I've been in this game 11 years. Okay. So I ain't even knocked around the block. I'm still young in terms of the industry, you know, in lifelines as such. I'm still young to the game. Okay. But this is what we need to do. For you to understand this concept of trading. All right. You need to completely eliminate the concept of value. Okay. Get rid of the idea of value in your mind. Yeah? I know I sound old, bro. Try streaming like 17 hours a day for the past six weeks, bro. You feel like a 50-year-old man. <laughs> yeah, as I was saying, get rid of the idea of value in your mind. Why? Because when you have value in your mind, you're generally discussing, or should I say, you're actually basing your decision on what the masses believe. All right? And people, we live in a technological age. People just go straight to YouTube, go to Twitter, and they take the general consensus of what people are feeling, and they'll go by that. Because if Tom's feeling it, Dave's feeling it, Sam's feeling it, damn right Joey's feeling it. All right? Because people are literally like, you know, no one wants to make, no one wants to go by their own gut. People want to move in the masses. They, they, they're going to... They're going to follow. They're not going to lead themselves into a trade. They're going to follow people to trade. All right? Sheeple. Jeremy, that's what it is. Well, I hope people in this stream, okay, people that have been following this channel are coming out, you know, thinking out of the box. So, one, have no value of price. Go by what it's doing at this moment in time. Make your entry based on a series of confluences. And get your money out when you've got your money good. Yeah? Get your money out when you've got your money good. All right? There's no predictions here, co um, cool collision. It's all projections. We'll get to that shortly. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to explain to you how today's move played out. How could we improve? What could we be aware of? So that you guys can understand how to approach this game of trading at every moment's notice as such okay cool 1800 of you in 438 likes let's get these likes up guys you know we've hit a milestone 1800 people i think if we can go for 2k tonight that'll be crazy anyone new to the channel welcome to the traders reality channel guys all we do is we talk charts bitcoin altcoins you know but ultimately we talk about how this game is designed for you to lose all right, we're going to try and come away from that concept. Yeah, if you're new, sit back and enjoy the ride. Let's go. Right. So what I can see here right now, guys, right, before I go into discussing what happened here with the moving averages as well, 
We need to just summarize what's happening here. Granted, Bitcoin has dumped, okay? But it's currently dumped at a key area. That key area is the 800-day EMA on the hourly, which is the 200-day on the four hourly. Very big area of interest. This is where you're going to see price start getting a little bit busy. All right. Now, Tokyo is going to do one or two things. All right. The information has already been absorbed. Okay. It's already been absorbed with price behaving like this. All right. We clearly have experienced what we know as. <clears throat> where is it? Where are we? The New York reversal started from the highs here and then it's just completely tanked. Okay. So the New York started the move and then completely dropped. Now this has dropped when New York closed. It's continued to drop. So New York closes round about here. All right. Based on, on, on this time here, nine o'clock ish. All right. UK time. This is from here, from here. To here is the market maker zone. All right. Market maker zone is the dead gap. All right. They can do whatever they want. You'll notice spreads go crazy in this zone. Now we've got Sydney open. All right. They've effectively set the range. 25,473 pips. All right. Still within the 36 average daily range that Bitcoin can travel. This isn't a drop that is out of the norm. This is this is typical for Bitcoin. It's in within its range. Now we split the ranges up. The end of the session was here from this morning session. Today's session ended here. This is the new session from this Asian high to this Asian low. Okay, wow, 1900 people in the room. Are we gonna hit the milestone of 2000 people? That is crazy. That is crazy, man. I need to vape for that. I'm starting to get palpitations, man. I don't even get like that when I'm, you know, 30 lots deep. <laughs> All right, then. So, right now, 51624, purely for reference only, is deemed as the Asian session low. We do have the range daily low for the day, okay? And we also have the average daily range low nearby. Okay, it's so close. Bang, we've hit the 2K. That is crazy. We've hit the 2K mark, guys. That is wild. Thank you very much. That is unbelievable. I'm, I'm going to take a dab for myself. Let me take that dab. Yeah, I just done the dab. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much. Mardo, the green box is boxes times are wrong as well as the panel above am i right today i fixed the mardo if you fix them can you please you know let me know how you've done that because i literally have no patience to do it i did it once and it said that tokyo when it was open it was actually quarter past four in the afternoon when it was clearly not i don't know what i've done wrong so if you can let me know how you've done it please get out to me and let me know so happy days guys oh it's just jumped back down to 1929 that's crazy <laughs> all right let's go for it here we go bitcoin right now they're pinning the lows right now there's the first pin we naturally could see a drop down further although the range daily low is in sight granted if price is nearby it's likely that it could actually test that bit we could hit the 50k mark are we in light right now okay to forming let me get rid of this could we be forming a big w yeah use ic mark use mt4 my friend use mt4 viola use mt4 don't use c trader is it possible that the price consolidates around the 800 ema prior to 2021 the price was kissing 800 for a long while we can answer similar phase now see kill the beat listen on that concept it's like when people said back in 2017 when bitcoin dropped and you know they were saying that are we at that point right now well, back 2017, there was an institutional backing for Bitcoin, all right? It was purely motivated by those involved in the blockchain and a few heavyweights who knew about Bitcoin and just started investing. There was no Teslas, there was no whales. It was just normal people buying Bitcoin, a couple of companies, but nothing of a high precedence in terms of finance in that 
that could go into it. But right now, we've got big players putting money into Bitcoin. I've said it from day one, okay? A lot of big companies are accumulating Bitcoin and stuffing it into cold storage and then they're going to hit the exchanges and trade in it against the dollar, all right? The contracts for difference, right? Why? Because they can get much better swings, they can reduce costs, all right? The person that is effectively what is up against and should I say doesn't re not really have not have a chance but you know it's not in their favor is the retail trader why because high spreads you know the retail trader he wants to get in and he wants to get out you know most people want to kind of scalp and the high spreads pretty much destroy the chances of that happening all right but naturally as more institutions step towards the exchanges and want to trade bitcoin over the dollar naturally those exchanges are going to make it a safe a, a decent place for everyone so that everyone can trade on that platform because ultimately it's more money for those brokers exchanges okay so what i'm going to do now what we know right now is bitcoin this red candle what did it do yesterday look at what this red candle did yesterday where was it on the hour time frame here we go what do we see It didn't go any lower from the previous point here, all right? We effectively had a railroad track where the lows are pretty much the same, okay? That was on the one hour. I'm making it reference to the 15 minute, okay? But what we need to pay attention to is Bitcoin right now needs to hold this zone. If the 800 day EMA on the hourly which is the 200 day on the four hourly. If it doesn't hold, I mean, guys, we are in a run for the downside. Why? Reason being is because there's nothing there. Okay. There is literally this big ass gap right here. Look, you can see my annotations. It's untidy, but hey, method to the madness. That's where price is right now at the 800 day EMA. Every time it comes to a key zone, all right, it always pulls back to that key zone and bounces away from it. Okay? It's all going to be on Hong Kong tonight, guys. On Tokyo. Tokyo and Hong Kong. It's all going to be on there. Completely. We will know where we stand tonight. We've also got the options expirations. What am I expecting? I am expecting... Still, my projection zone up here. I'm expecting that all day. All right? Because Bitcoin hasn't actually taken out any important zones yet. It's touched the 800-day EMA. And look, it's, it's pulled all the way back from it. Okay? It's coming to test the M1 zone. What do we know about the zones? M1 equals M3. M3 happens to be what? The area when they started building their longs. We've just seen the candle wick down here against the previous candle over here right there we saw that are we actually going through the same story right now so we're going to let bitcoin do what she needs to do i'm going to bring up the 15 minute time frame and i'm going to discuss what happened today because i know a few people there you go look recovery right there naturally what could happen is bitcoin could actually come back up test the 50 day that's what i'm expecting 15 minute time frame has crossed over on the 200 day it has crossed over. Got to be careful. All right. Look, the 50 day has dropped down. The 200 days there. The 800 days there. My God. But we look at the bigger time frame. Back again. Repetition, repetition. 200 day hasn't crossed over the 50. All right. Sorry. 200 day has crossed over the 50 right there. But it actually hasn't moved down any further. This is a fast move drop. All right. Look at what she does when she wants to trade down slowly. Look, nice pumps to the low, retrace, drops nicely. Slow trend is the true trend. This fake move right down, very quick, was just to get their orders filled in this zone right here. Okay? <coughs> Excuse me. Brandon, 800-day EMA is at 16,200. You must be on a higher time frame, my friend. Let me see that. Are you on the daily? You must be on the daily. You have to be on the daily. There you go. 
You're on the daily, right there, 16. Right, it's 15, 14, give or take. But you had to be up, that's the daily Bitcoin. But look, man, daily Bitcoin. What's Bitcoin doing on the daily? It's the first time I've looked at the daily in a long time. She's not even at the 50 day. She's not even at the 50 day, man. Coming down, rise. Look at that little W right there. Is this the first pullback for the W? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> oh, man, I love this shit. I really do love this shit. Okay, then, cool. Right, going to bring up a couple of pictures for you guys. Bring you some context right here. All right, which should help you. We're going to look at the 15 minute time frame. Just looking at the comments here. Hold on. 2,098 of you. 916 likes. Thank you so much, guys, man. 2,100 milestone, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. No, 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 no. Yo, David, check this, man. Look, the reason why I don't care about fundamentals, all right, is because I've been in enough trades based on fundamentals, all right, and the trades haven't worked out. Granted, you want fundamentals, you go to stocks, all right? When you're dealing with exchanges, contracts for difference, OTC market and what have you, it's free for all. The fundamental analysis that's put out there is out there to keep you committed. It's there to keep your money in the game. Remember, market maker, all right, is on one side, retail traders on the other. Market maker will always have money. Why? Because the title deems his action market maker. He makes it happen. Okay? See this with an open mind. When the buyer comes into the market, he needs the opposite side of his contract in order for it to be a market. He ain't going to come to the market and buy and the market maker is going to say, here you go, here's a buy. No, he gives him a sell. Why? Because when the buyer wants to realize a profit on his position, he has to take from the liquidity of the guy who was against his position, the sell. It's zero sum. All right? But... Should we, but we should not be scared of a bear market. You don't need to be scared of any market. A trader, a pattern trader trades the pattern, whether it's an M or a W or a rise retrace from a moving average, rise retrace away from the moving average. Do you understand? It's in the downside. All right. When you start putting in value into a trade, that's when you start getting emotional. That's when you start being committed. And that was one of the biggest transitions for me when I stopped putting value on trades. Yeah? Hope that answers your question. All right then, here we go. So today, I'm going to pull up a couple of pictures for you and talk you through understanding how today played out. All right? Let me move this happy days projection zone. It looks like a bit of a disturbance. Okay, then. Cool. Can we hit 2,000 likes? That'll be crazy. If we can hit 2,000 likes, I'll be forever in debt to you guys. But then, unfortunately, in the next stream, I'll be expecting the same. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I hope you're all all good, man. I'm chewing your ears off tonight, man. I'm chewing your ears off. Tokyo's not open. It's, an, it's, it's the time's wrong on here. Forgive me. Tokyo is not open. All right? Are we done going down? Are we going down? No. We are still in the zone. M1 looks like it's still holding. This snap back down, bring price back up, trigger in shorts, move to the upside. Let's see what happens. Here we go. With your opinion about fundamentals in mind, isn't it true that one of your greatest losses was due to Donald Trump's tweet, which constituted as a fundamental? That's true. Frank, yes. I did lose a lot of money on Trump's... Let's put it like this. Fundamental analysis, fundamental information usually is quite methodical and strategical. In other words, 
Non-farm payrolls in Forex happens on the start in the first Friday of every month. We anticipate that financial information to come out. Okay. Price earnings ratio. All right. Every quarter, every quarter, a stock, a company has a stock listed on the market. We anticipate every quarter as shareholders. What's our price earnings ratio like every quarter? What's our sales like? Are, is it rising? Is it accelerated? All right. Is there a deceleration in our sales every quarter? These are fundamentals that we anticipate. Okay. With justification. All right. When the news comes out about it, we react to it accordingly. But when Trump steps up out of nowhere and drops a tweet about the relationship with China, I ain't going to call that fundamental, man. Nah, I ain't doing that. Nah, it's not. I wouldn't say it's fundamental. That's clean. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Who am I to say? You can't base it as fundamental. It's just... That, that, that can really manipulate things. That twists up the market, okay? So is it fundamental analysis when Elon drops a tweet saying Doge? Is that fundamental analysis? That's opinion, man. Yeah? Hope that justifies that, Frank, man. Thank you. All right, then. Cool. Here we go. Candle, we, we, we should see price return back to this candle. That is the intention. Why? Because they closed strong here. The next candle snapped back, brought price back right down. Guys, forgive me. My speech is going all over the place. I've got the best migraine money could buy. If you want this migraine, I guarantee to you, you guys would, you would just run, off, run a mile from it. But anyway, here we go. Today, this is what we were looking at. All right. We formed this pattern. Remember, the 15-minute time frame is and is always the basis of entries, all right? The one hour determines the cycle. Right now, we have effectively got a reset, okay? There is effectively a reset. However, however, when we look at the one hour, all right? Where was it? Look at this. Do you see the size of that W right there? Yeah? Granted, the second leg all right, this second leg to the downside has preceded the first leg. But look what price is trying to do. It's trying to come back up. Only if price continues back up, comes and tests the 50-day, retraces, then moves away from it, will verify this big W. All right? Only if it does that. If it continues to go further down and further down, if it goes all the way down to the, the average daily low right here, hits the 50K mark, granted, then that would be a complete reset. We are then looking for a whole new pattern. All right. That's on the hourly. All right. One hour. Yeah. Now, here we go. I mean, look what she's doing, man. She's just coming back straight up. Always, always going to recover that candle. Whenever you see that red candle, always, she's just always going to come back to it. Look how strong that red candle is. Right there. Ideally, I just need Bitcoin to come back at least to close above the 13-day EMA, which is right here. All right. So my first point of interest is right here. My second is up here, which is in line with the 50-day. If it hits the 50 day and the 200 days joined together, we should expect price to move up, retrace, continuation out. Once it breaks out of the 50 and the 200, it will come back down to retest. If it's strong, it will continue back up and then the 50 day will merge. It will curve, have some curvature to it to move to the upside. All right. Okay.
Fabian, you're a pro poker player. Wow. 2,708 of you in this room. God bless you, man. That is nuts. I've never had so many people in this stream. That is crazy. If we can hit 3,000, that'll be wild. Anyway, here we go. God bless you all, man. Thank you and welcome to the stream, man. Okay, we're here to talk about charts. There's no bullshit in this channel. I'll tell you that straight. I'm straight. I'll be very brutally honest with you at the same time. I'll tell you exactly how it is with charts. All right? There's no hype. Okay? This is what it's about. It's all about market makers' behavior and why this shit is rigged for you to lose. Here we go. So, right now she's going to recover. She's going to hit this zone. All right? M1. We see M1. Realize M3. That's the intention. All right? That is the intention. If this move continues to the upside. The only way we're going to realize that is if price, the 5 and the 13 EMA, okay? If they come together and the 1 hour, sorry, the 1 hour time frame, you can see here, the 1 hour time frame needs to come up into the 5 and the 13 day EMA and close above them. That's what needs to happen. You can see, look how... Look how expanded the moving averages are. It's a wild move. All right? It's a wild move to the downside. Granted, it could actually come back even lower. Remember, I said the range daily low is nearby. All right? This move didn't take it to the downside. Will Tokyo and Hong Kong do it? Who knows? But all we have to judge is what she's doing right now. And if there's one thing I tell you to do, all right, is make your judgment on what is happening now not what you think's going to happen all right base it on what's happening now because if you start thinking about what could happen a little friend emotional starts to step in and say yeah but what if it doesn't and then you start feeling ah oh, but maybe what if what if then what do you do you hit youtube you try and find what's happening in youtube what price is bitcoin looking to get to in this point or in one point or another point you then fall into the vortex of shoulda woulda coulda that's not what we're in this game for okay we're not in this game for false hope we're in this game not for guarantees but we want to improve our fucking chances of actually making a dime from this and we do that by not focusing on the opinion of others at the same time not making an opinion remember i don't pay attention to price i only focus on what she's doing right now 3,200 people in the room. That is wild. Mad props to all of you guys. Mad props. I'm scared to ask. If you're new to the channel, okay, feel free to subscribe. <laughs> I, I, I really am reluctant to ask, but hey, mad love to all of you. All right, I'm going to get back to this point here. Okay, so today, this is what we discussed with the patrons, right? And guys in the Discord. Bitcoin formed this pattern, okay? Now, the pattern showed the shift candle. Here's a brilliant example of a W. For all the guys that have been trying to work out, you know, what constitutes a successful W, all right? Here's one for you right now, okay? <laughs> can we hit 15K subs? I hope we can hit 15K subs. That'll be crazy. That'll be crazy. Okay, then. No, I'm not, Andrew, I'm not going to do it, my friend. Don't worry. I usually have this question, okay, that I start off the streams with. And that question, <laughs> that question is, who is completely brand new to the channel? Say one, okay? And usually what happens is the chat explodes. So just for demonstration purposes, all right? How many people have just touched down on this channel? Type one. If you're brand new, type two, if you're angry, if I actually ask that question. <laughs> oh man, that is crazy. Mad love to you, man. Mad love to you. Okay. Enough respect to you guys. Thank you so much, man. All right, let's start talking some context, man. Here we go. So this is what constitutes effectively a perfect W. All right. This is what we want to see. The breakdown. Market makers move price to... Ah, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Three sunny bigs, man. <laughs> here we go. So look, Bitcoin right now in this zone here, the price starts to collapse. All right. We see the red candle, red candle, aggressive candles to the downside. 
demonstrates to us what? That market makers are achieving their longs at lower prices. Market makers will never buy at the high and they will never sell at the low. That's what retail traders do. That's what people who are ill-informed. That's what happens when you follow what you're being told to follow. All right? That's how the game works. You know, if you want to start trading, granted, there's probably a few people new to this game. All right? And the first thing they do is they go onto YouTube or they go onto Amazon or they go and buy a course. They want to understand trading. And granted, there's only a few handful of traders out there that really talk about the market maker behavior. All right. When you say to someone when price is rising, buyers are in control. OK, they agree with you. But when you understand what's really happening in the market, when buyers are coming into the market and price is rising, that's not because buyers are in control. That's because sellers are in control. Granted, anyone's going to challenge that. Go back and look at the previous streams and I'll explain it. OK, check this. This is what constitutes of a perfect W formation. Price comes down and drops, which is the first leg. What do we see in presence of vector candles? Red candle one, red candle two. You can have at least two vector candles. Three is ideal. But in this instance, what you can see is one vector candle, two vector candles. Now, it's a bit touch and go here, but this candle here could also be deemed as a vector, all right, because it was previously red, but then it came back and snapped to this zone here. So we deem that as a stopping candle, all right? So that one there is a little bit touch and go, all right? What happens is market makers create the illusion to the retail trader that price is breaking down. How? They do it by breaking a moving average. Now, the moving averages are used across the whole board, all right? Now, everybody knows what they know about moving averages. I mean, you have those rainbow moving averages. You've got the 21 day, the 5, the 13. There's so many wild numbers of the moving averages. 21 periods, okay? Now, market makers, in order for them to get their money in good, they have to create a market. And the way they create the market is they take advantage of two indicators. Now, these two indicators, all right, you've heard me say it before. These two indicators are the only indicators that will never change in this game. And which is why you have to accept, okay? That if you don't trade tomorrow, it's fine. If you don't trade the next day or the day after, the week after, the year, month, whatever, all right? There's always going to be a market because people will always be fearful and people will always be greedy. Once you accept that, you then start to see trading systematically and logistically and objectively. Okay, remember, get rid of those two human emotions, the market disappears. Why? Because that's the basis of how market makers build their positions. When price drops and breaks below the 50 day moving average, people get excited. Look, it's broke the 50 day on the 15 minute time frame. Happy days, let's get in short. So the market makers fulfill those orders. Okay, price drops, 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 comes back, retests it, drops again, drops again. It forms a low. OK, on that low, what the market maker has done, he's effectively absorbed all the shorts to get his longs filled at lower prices. All right. Now, what do we see next? The price then comes back up here. Now, remember, if market makers are getting longs filled at lower prices, OK. Give me a sec, Frank. Thank you very much for that, my friend. If price if price is dropping okay and market makers are getting longs filled at lower prices at some point they need to realize a return on those all right so look what they do they bring price back to the moving average if there's one thing i tell you about this strategy that I, that i use the retrace back to the moving average is hands down the basis of this strategy all right you make your adjustment, you make your entry on understanding what price does when it hits the moving average and when it comes away from the moving average. Look at what the story is here when we understand how the W creates itself. The W and the M, granted, you've got the Wyckoff principle, Elliott wave theories, okay? Those are the technical analysis discussions on that. But really, when you understand what the W formation really is, it's all psychological, all right? Bear with me. OK. When price is dropping, market makers have created the illusion that price, you know, people need to go short. 
So when someone goes short, the market maker gives them the buy because it's the opposite of their short. Because remember, when you want to close your short in profit, you need to take liquidity from the contract that was used to give you your short in the first place, which is the buy. You buy to cover. Okay? Then, what market maker does is he wants to start seeing a profit on his positions. So he starts to hit the stops. Now, granted, if you are new to this channel, okay, or new to trading, right? Just go through the previous stream so then you can understand the terminology. And I'm going to start doing a couple of videos which I so that I can explain the terminology so you guys are aware of what I'm talking about if you're not, okay? So, market maker drops the price. He then starts to take out the stops. Now, the, when I say he takes out the stops, traditional wisdom says that when you make an entry, protect yourself. Use a stop loss. But a stop loss... Now, listen, just have an open mind with this a stop loss okay tells the dealer where your money is dead it tells the dealer look how much money is sitting right there if we can get price to that zone and keep these guys committed into the trade and just tap their stop we can effectively take all that liquidity all right so because people are so emotionally driven all right what happens is market makers drop price, they spike the low, and then they instantly shift out of the zone to take out the stops. And then when they start coming back to the moving average, the guys who went short here do one of two things. They either increase their stop. So for example, if a guy has a stop here, if you can see that dashed line, if he puts his stop here and he can see price is coming towards it, he starts to move it up. So market makers push price push people to move their stops higher and higher which they do two things all right they get them to keep their money in the trade they get them to stay committed emotionally because they don't want to close on a big loss all right so they hope that price is going to retrace back down in their favor all right and the higher the stop goes the more money that the market maker is bleeding from the retail traders margin account okay so this is what happens Market maker brings price back to the 50 day moving average. And what we said about moving averages earlier on, when price breaks a moving average, people start to make, you know, they start to run to the charts and they hope, wow, it's broken the average. I'm going to go short. Look what happens here. It hits the 50 day and finds resistance. It couldn't break out. So the guys who went short here that may have got stopped out or increased their stops and they are actually in a deeper loss. Okay. Say to themselves, Ah, oh, happy days. Price is at the 50 day and it's finding resistance. It's what? A lower high. Oh, okay. Because it's a lower high, right? That means it's going to continue back down again. Cool. I'm going to keep my position in. Granted, the market maker moves price back down again. So he's used the liquidity up here to take out the stops. He knows that this retail trader is staying committed in this zone. Sorry, in this zone by making them see the fear of missing out on a big move to the downside, all right? So the general consensus, okay, is price is gonna be moving down, okay? Then what happens? Price comes all the way back down. It comes and tests the previous area where the guys previously went short. Two, one pin there, two, three pins to the low. Market maker gets all the guys who were previously short, keeps them committed in this area, spikes it low, makes them say, right, happy days. We're going to go down to the downside. I'm going to add some more contracts to cover the loss that I've experienced. Here we go. Market maker shifts out of the zone, completely obliterates all of those guys' contracts. All right. That's the definition of the W, formation. All right. Now check this out. When price comes and breaks above the 50 day moving average, what number do you see on here? Tell me what you see here, guys. To all my guys that are regular in the stream. Let me turn the music down, man. If you're not happy with that. That's Shidoshi, man. That's so correct. Bob Franklin. First guy. I had no, no, I didn't put the bot up. My guy, Mike Dutch, put the bot up. It helps. It serves. 
Three, three, three. There you go. Who said it? Three shift candles. Majita. Well done, my friend. Okay. Yep. You, you saw it. Three shift candles. Okay. That's how market makers move. Paul, look, man. Will it ever go back to 62K? The problem that you've got, if you're an investor in this game, okay, then you have to sit through these drawdowns, man. That's what an investor does. You know, I've got, uh, I've got crypto. I hold crypto. I've not logged into my wallet for a long time because I'm disciplined to know that I have no interest in what it's doing right now. I'm not going to make a decision. If I open my wallet and I see I'm in the red, I'll look at it and be like, look, I don't care. I'm in the long term for this. And I switch it off and then happy days. And you have to maintain that mindset because if you're feeling concerned about your position and asking whether or not it's going to go back to a certain zone, you need to take your money out, my friend. Because you'll sleep better at night. That's just my opinion. Will it go to 62? I anticipate that it will. Based on the pattern. Based on the formations. Based on how the market maker decides to play the cards that he's dealt with. Well, should I say that he deals. Okay. So back to the concept here. Three. One, two, three candles. The reason why we see three candles is the market maker needs to get out of the zone. And the zone we're talking about is here. Why? Because if he gives the retail trader the impression that they can actually realize a return, then he's going to create a marketplace where thousands and thousands of traders are going to dump a ton of shorts in this area, okay? And the market maker is going to be obligated to fulfill those orders, okay? Which means he's going to be in the red, which is why we say, that the second leg of the W principally needs to be higher than the first leg. Why? Okay. The reason being is this. If he brings price ever so close to this zone. Okay. There are guys who got burnt the first time. All right. Look what happened when it hit the low. It pulled straight back. So what's happened is this. Those guys put stop orders right here. And they say, right, I'm not going to enter until it breaks that point. Because what could happen is price could actually retrace all the way back. So what I'm going to do is wait. So he put stop orders right there. When they put stop orders right there, okay, the market maker realizes that he's got them committed in that zone. Because they either want to add more contracts here. And the new guys who just saw this move to the downside, okay, want to take advantage of price dropping further. And he creates that illusion by bringing price ever so close to it. Notice this. Look. Look at what he does. Can you see these two pins? I mean, not, there you go. Can you see these two pins right here? Yeah? That's the market maker. There you go. That's the market maker right there. Trying to probe the retail trader. Trying to make him just, you know, you know, Get involved, but I don't really want you to get involved because I'm going to screw you over anyway, so it doesn't matter, all right? So the retail trader starts to think about things, you know, in a logistical way, and he's being smart, okay? He's being smart with his approach. He's saying that I'm not going to enter there again. If I am, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for price to break it, okay? But if the market maker, all right, who's been building his longs from here, if he wants to realize a return... He can't allow price to go down to that zone. He needs to give retail traders the belief that it could go down there or it's on its way down there to keep them keeping their money in this area because he needs that money to close his positions at a higher price because he's taking their liquidity that's in the red. Okay? So, what does he do? He shifts out of the zone. When he shifts out of the zone, okay, he realizes a return for his longs. Now, for today, the Patreons themselves and the guys in the Discord, I've been updating you with this price action behavior, all right? When price comes out of the W formation, all right, that's the first criteria that the pattern is effectively complete. The fast move out of the zone, all right? Phase one, 
all right? You're then looking for the first retrace back to the moving average. In this instance, you need it to be the 50 day. Where was the retrace, all right? People, I know some people today took an entry from here maybe, took an entry from here, took an entry on the break of this pattern, okay? But notice, the retrace didn't happen until here. We expected price to bounce from this zone and come back up. When price comes back up out of the pattern, all right, you have confirmed the retrace. You've confirmed the 50-day moving average, you know? Famous fee, man. I just saw your comment, bro. Why is nobody talking like you? Really believe you get this shit. All psychology, this market, and definitely with all the newbies coming in. This is true. They tell you to focus. Listen, they tell you to focus on psychology, but what psychology are they telling you to focus on? Your own? Granted, you are going to be fearful. You're going to be greedy, right? You're going to be anxious, okay? You need to meditate, all right? But let's be honest, it's all good understanding those concepts. But until you understand the true psychology of the masses, all right, how the hell are you going to understand your own? Because you're going to follow what other people say about Bitcoin. Oh, it's going to 42, 41, 43. All right. But then when you're expected to focus on yourself, you don't do that. You focus on what other people are doing. Yeah. Focus on what they're trying to do with price, all right? Focus on, I mean, how can I put it to you? Look, simple as, all right? Ask yourself this question. What does the market maker want the retail trader to think, all right? And when you have the answer to that question, you effectively have your position. You have your entry. Always, yes, resort dog, always focus on what did you say? Oh, shit. I was trying to read it as it was going. <laughs> Hold on. What was it? What was it? What was it? What was it? Oh, yeah. Always focus on the manipulation. Okay. Now, I just need to go back to Frank's question a second, guys. Hold on. No worries, um, the base man. Frank. Thanks for answering my previous question. I realize it probably hit some nerves. No, 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 no. You didn't hit no nerves, Frank, man. Don't be silly. As a projection, most experts expect Bitcoin to net 100k this year. Would I consider viewing a monthly candle to project an annual all-time high? Okay then, courtesy for you, Frank, granted. Let's do it. Here we go. I'm going to bring up Bitcoin on a clean chart. All right. I'm going to adjust the chart. change this here we go right monthly time frame I mean that's as far as it goes on this Jesus man that's as far as it goes. I think I'm going to bring up TeamViewer for that. Okay, I'll do that in a sec. But if we look at it like this, <laughs> big W formation on the monthly price rising up. Is this the retrace? Yeah, could we hit 100K? Cryptocurrency has no limits. That's the thing. It pauses, but there's no limits. Here's the weekly. The moving, as, look. On the higher time frames, right, cryptocurrency completely defies technical analysis, okay? This is downright opinion here. This is people pushing price up higher, all right? Now, this is billions and billions and billions of dollars coming into the marketplace. The reason why we drop down to the lower time frames, okay, is because there has to be some order in the marketplace as such. They have to induce people to buy and sell. Remember, if you've got a target of hitting, you know, you need to dump 
half a billion dollars worth of contracts into Bitcoin. You have to do it over a progressive period of time. Do you even map out your weekly and daily levels? Of course I do. My weekly and daily levels are here. Look, that YL there tells me it was yesterday's low. Okay, so I know where we are in the daily on the daily time frame. Okay, that YH is yesterday's high. All right. That's yesterday's high. So I know where yesterday's high is. That was the previous session high. Okay. And that is the previous session's low. So I can gauge where I am on the daily time frame. The pivot points, M1, 2, pivot, M3, M4, M5. Okay. Take the high, low, close over three, over an average of three. Okay. And it plots it out on the chart for me. Happy days. That's all I need. I've got no other indicators other than the moving averages in front of me and these candlesticks, which tell me how aggressive price moves to the downside and the green candlesticks, how aggressive price moves to the upside. These green boxes just get our time indicators. Okay, so this is the Asian session. So the Asian session, which is Sydney, Tokyo and Hong Kong. Okay, that area in the world trades for nine, eight, nine hours and the price will go across all the way. When it finishes here, that's when Europe effectively opens and then, which is up here. So look, ends there. That's the Asian session end. This white box here is the UK open at the start. And then you've got the New York open here, the New York futures, and then you've got the New York close. You've got the dead zone, and then you've got the Asian open again. Okay? No worries, MV, man. Okay, then. What was I talking about? Let's have a look at Bitcoin a second. So yeah, sorry, Frank. Um, Bitcoin to 100K. Do I think it's possible? Look, cryptocurrency is fashionable, man. And if you don't hold crypto, you, you know, you're, you know, people are like, they're going to frown upon you. You know, jump back, say, six months ago, if you held crypto or tried to pay anything in crypto, you were frowned upon. Now you're frowned upon if you haven't got it. Funny human behavior, isn't it? Yeah? Funny. I will look at Ethereum. I will. If you listen, guys, if you're new to the stream, okay, and you want these indicators, okay, they are all free of charge, all right? If you're from the States, you can't download IC Markets MT4, or if you're from Canada. But if you're from anywhere in the, else in the world, go into the description and you can download MT4 free of charge. All right, once you're done with that, make your way to the Discord and one of the channels in the Discord indicator downloads. Go there, download the indicators, but there's a video on YouTube which tells you how to install them on this platform, okay? Remember, they're all free of charge, guys. Okay, then. Cool. Are we all good tonight, guys? I know I've just continuously spoke. Merlin, I know you keep asking your question, brother. I'm going to get to it, Okay. Oh, well done, Crypto Cypress. Bravo, man. Wicked. But are, are we all good here now? Yeah, guys? Wicked, wicked, wicked. BitBoy just shown his whole portfolio in a vid. Not a... Oh, wow. Hey, Adriana. Bitcoin is doing what, she do, what she's doing, man. She's coming back, retracing this red candle here. That's the next zone that we're looking at. All right, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Granted, guys, I ain't going to be here too long because I've got a super, super migraine, okay? But I just want to sit with you in the Tokyo session and explain this next concept here, okay? But I hope you have enjoyed it, all right? So here we go. Look at this. Today, I sent to the Patreons the following. I'm going to get it up for you, all right? This is where you really need to pay attention to the guys who have been here from day one. God bless you. Okay. All right, Carlton, Carlton, Carlton. If you want to move price back, Carlton, look. If you want to move price back, okay, get rid of that. If you press that, it automatically pushes the price. It pushes the chart to the right. It auto scrolls it every time price changes. So look at that right there. Every time it changes, it's going to keep pushing it for you. You don't want that. 
deactivate that, just tap it, okay? When it's pressed out, look, did you see that? It just moved prices straight away. If I deactivate it, I've got flexibility. If it's on, I can't move back, okay? It pushes it all the way back. You hit that. Always keep that one activated because it allows you to move price. Shift N for the chart from the right of the border, okay? Cool. All right, check this out. Today, okay? We did something for the Patreons. Where is it? Okay. I'm going to show this to you now. Okay. So. Check this out. Hold on. Before we do anything, let me just get that right. Stretch to screen. So it's nice and clean. Okay, so this happened earlier on today. All right, you can see where we are with, hold on. Ah, oh, it's a boomer moment for me, guys. This is a right boomer moment. Okay, so look, can you see the big green candle? Yeah? This is what happened earlier on today with Bitcoin. So contact, I, I sent the message out to the guys in the Discord and to the patrons, and I was explaining to them what the story was. All right? Just before I continue, can you see that, guys? Yep, okay, cool, 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 okay. Then. Okay, the next one was this one. Okay, can you see that? Can you see how price right there has completely come up? We anticipated that from this move here, the next projection zone was the 200-day moving average. The Patreons have it, all right? But what I need to show you is this. If you zoom in so closely, you can see the range daily high. When price is near the range daily high, granted, okay, it's going to see that area, all right? Now, I projected that price would hit the 57.177, it says, right there. All right, and that was effectively a target zone. All right, if it hits the range daily high, it's always going to pull back. Now, people were asking about when's the retrace going to happen, when is the retrace going to happen? All right, now this video was the one that this image is what I sent after. Okay, that is the image there. All right. That was not a break of the pattern. Why? Because there was no retrace to the 50 day on the 15 minute time frame. And there wasn't one on the one hourly also. Okay. So look, price hits the range daily high to the, to the T man. Hits it and pulls back straight away. It hits the 50 day moving average. From that point, you're waiting for price to test the 50 day and continue back up. If it continued back up, okay, and take out the yellow line, okay, you would have effectively had yourself a valid entry. But that didn't happen, okay? Now, bringing it back to the main screen, okay, look at what happened here. It hit the range daily high up here, pulled back. Now, this is where you effectively can do one of two entries, okay? The advanced entry or the safety entry. Now, the advanced entry requires conviction, okay? You need price to come completely away from the 50-day moving average with conviction. This candle here would have shook you out. You would have thought, okay, I'm going to enter on this candle here, but that would have been wrong. Why? Because the continuation candle afterwards didn't complete. Look what happened. It spiked and pulled back. It closed below the big 800-day EMA. The next candle didn't even go anywhere near it. The third candle <laughs> closed way below it and touched the 50-day. So this is what I mean about sticking to the pattern. There was no confirmation, although you could have seen a nice little return on the trade to the upside from here, breaking out the 50-day to the 200-day, and maybe even the 800-day EMA. We anticipated the range daily high to hit, which is what happened up here. And we said we need to wait for the retrace. The post itself was called wait for the retrace. 
We waited for the retrace. It didn't happen. Tough shit. That's the name of the game. And you have to accept that. If you can't accept the truths of trading, get out of this game, guys. You'll save yourself a lot of money. All right. What's happening here? Friends, it's not a racial question. It's a regional question. There are different markets. What the hell? Where are we going with that, man? Anyway, cool. So what we got here is Bitcoin retracing. Well, it looks like she's formed the zone. Look what she's doing. She's, she's pinning the lows, pinning the highs. So many retail traders are getting caught up in this zone right now. Loads of people are talking about bearish divergences. Granted, if there was a bearish divergence and everything is bearish, so what? I'm not interested in what Bitcoin does on a period of the four hourly or the daily. I'm not interested. I have no interest for that. Why? Because I'm always going to trade to the moving averages. If it comes back to the moving average, I'm going to realize a return at the moving average. If it pulls away and continues down, I'm going to realize a return on the downside. Why? Because we follow the pattern. Okay, we stick to the pattern. We wait for it to play out. No interest in higher time frames. This is a short-term day trading strategy, guys. That's what it's all about. Rises, retrace, do we need before safe? How many rises and retraces do we need before safe entry? You only need the one retrace. You need the retrace to the 50 day moving average because there is a concept called the mean reversion. Price always deviates back into the zone. It comes back to regulate. When price deviates away from a moving average, granted, it's always going to come back and sit there. All right. It always pulls back to the moving average to regulate price. That's what that's their regulation in the market as such. That's how they keep people trading. Why? All right, let's look at it like this. Look at the concept here. All right, when market makers drop price down to the lows, in order to get them enticed to come back in again, okay, because they may have missed the move to the downside, they bring it back to the 50 day moving average. When it's at the 50 day moving average, what can happen here? It can either go up or down. That's how you regulate the market. You create, you create the illusion of, oh, what if, what if? And then you say, to them, and then you're effectively put in a position where you say, well, you know what? I'm going to go short because it was short down on this direction. All right. And if I'm wrong, I'm going to hit my stop and then I'm going to change direction if it goes long. All right. But market makers keep you in the game long enough to keep you committed to the desired outcome that they want, which is to keep you on the idea of going short because they want to use your liquidity to get their longs filled at lower prices. And then at a moment's notice, they shift out of the zone, trap you with your account and then liquidate your account. Happy days. You're crying on the sidelines and the market makers are laughing all the way to the bank, as they say. Yeah? Cool. All right. Cool. <laughs> JC, yeah, man. My voice does sound cloudy, man. <laughs> Just reading these concepts here, these, these comments. Yes, Zaddy, listen, I've got videos which talk about how to understand the 50 day and the 200 day moving average. That's in the playlists. Um, if you look at the previous, if you look at the previous videos in the stream itself, in the in the channel itself, there's live trades. I've come from a Forex background. Okay. Forex is my forte. And I started this channel to effectively test whether or not, you know, I could actually trade cryptocurrency or should I say, can I understand the market maker in the cryptocurrency world? All right. And since then, people have been coming in, have been asking certain questions, and I've effectively turned this. This channel originally was a course. OK, and the course itself was my online journal of trading and how I understand to translate price. All right. It's free of charge. You know, I don't have a course. I will never do a course. All right. Granted, some people ain't happy about that, but I don't like the idea of a course, man. It's you need to learn in real time. That's the only way you're going to learn. If you go back in the previous streams, you will learn. I've got a guy, a gentleman, a very good friend who I've met just on the stream, okay? His name's PC Shed, okay? He's the guy who can help you build computers, all right, for streaming, streaming purposes, gaming computers. He's the guy. He's also a boss at staking. This guy has introduced staking, a completely different thing for me, all right? But this guy's pretty much taught the guys 
that come to the podcast, how to start your own bank. <laughs> okay, that's literally what it is. Very informed gentleman. His name is PC Shed. He is a protege of this strategy, guys. Okay, PC Shed has collectively taken twelve thousand pounds and managed to realize a return of at least a hundred k in less than six weeks. He is consistently profitable. Go into the Discord and you'll see his profits declared in the Discord because he posts them there. Guy's got 48 out of 48, 62 out of 62, 31 out of 32. The guy's a machine, okay? Go into the Discord and check that out. I understand that when I started the stream, collectively from then till now, we have actually generated at least a minimum of half a million dollars for people on this stream. All right, and that's not even giving anyone any financial advice. My goal is to teach as many people as possible how to understand this game. All right, it's my way of paying back. And the world is really shit as well. It's tired, it's upset. You know, coronavirus is taking people by the numbers. All right, and just helping people is the best. This is the only way you can help people, man. All right, this is information. Granted, you know, people have said. You could make a killing if you did a course, but I hate the industry because of that. So why am I going to endorse the idea of a course? A course is bullshit. You buy it once, you do it. If it works, it doesn't matter. It's cheap enough to just buy it and forget about it. Four or five hundred quid for a course. You pay for it, done. If it works, no problem. Just go, you know, buy another course. And people do that, man. And that's the shit thing. You know, that's the worst thing about it, guys. I've been in the game long enough, guys. I've brought every course you can think about. All right? I've even brought the course on how to make a course. Yeah? That's how bad it got for me. I wanted to find the Holy Grail. I wouldn't settle for anything else. You know? I wouldn't settle for anything else. Go and find me a course. Granted, granted, listen. There are guys out there, okay, that make courses. All right? For them to help you understand the product they've created themselves. I don't like when guys take information that's free of charge on the internet. And then they put it in a nice PowerPoint presentation and present it to you with a nice PDF or a fucking USB stick. Okay. And make you think you're getting something that, you know, you can't get anywhere else. All right. Creators. People that have sat hours on end to understand something before they come out into the world and say, look, this might be of benefit to you. Here's my service. I'll always endorse those guys. But not the guys that copy and paste shit. Fuck that. Nah. No, thank you. I'll give that a skip. Vasily, man. Vasily, man. You didn't have to do that. By the way, guys. I'm from Cyprus. I'm Greek. Well, both my parents are Greek. You know, I've got Greek heritage. That's my blood. You know, and I really want to help you guys. I want to help you guys realize it that you guys, unfortunately, you guys are the reason why the markets exist. Okay. I've had many conversations with people that have tried to challenge the concept. Now, I don't, I haven't revealed too much about what I know who I know, where I've got the information from. All I can tell you is I've got two schools of thought. I've studied them, brought them together, okay? And I have to show you guys this, all right? I have to show it to you. So, as I said to you earlier on, all right? Yeah, there's a free, yep. Yeah. Dab, that is. If you can get hold of it, get hold of it, man. But you know what the problem is with PVSRA? The guy who created PVSRA, he doesn't teach it you. He says, do your homework. All right. How you doing, Pedro? Pedro Paulos, how you doing? The guy PVSRA, trader at home. I've studied this guy for the best part of six years. I've been applying his system for six years. The education of it was difficult because he doesn't teach it you. He gives you the indicators and he effectively tells you, watch how price behaves at notable areas. Watch what it does at a moving average. Watch what it does at a whole number or a half number or a quarter number. Okay. Market, and he tells you, market makers, okay, do not buy at highs and they do not sell at lows. 
They buy as price drops. They sell as price rises. Okay. He says, sit and watch price. And it's so that there is going to effectively determine whether or not you guys are going to last in this game. All right. Because if you don't commit to this guy, to this game, all right, I'm serious. If you don't commit to this game, you ain't going to last, bruv. You're going to probably sit through all of these streams, all right? And granted, you'll be like, you're, you'll hype yourself up, okay? And you'll make yourself believe, yeah, I can do it, I can do it. But if you don't, oh, Mr. Hussein, thank you very much. He's all good, man. And you'll hype yourself up and believe, and yeah, I've got a system, great, great, great. But this system needs commitment, man. I'm telling you, it needs commitment. You know? And that's what I'm here to help you guys, you know, get it into your minds. So listen. I'm going to come to an end of the stream after Tokyo opens. Tokyo opens in less than four minutes. Okay. But we're going to see the Tokyo open and see what Bitcoin does when that happens. Pay attention to what she does in the hour. The hour leak, right? is really important as it comes towards a new candle. It always gets busy, all right? So granted, we could see Bitcoin come down a little further, okay? When Tokyo opens, are they going to respond to this information here? All right? But ideally, what we need to see, we are now effectively in either a big W formation, as I showed to you earlier on, and we are working on a smaller pattern within a pattern, okay? Now listen to this. If and only if Hong Kong opens, all right, in an hour's time and price completely collapses, the key areas that we could see price behave at are the 50, 5560, and the 48830. That's the range daily low and the range weekly low. Frank, man, you've been a gentleman this evening, man. Thank you so much, man. <laughs> yeah, Frank, that's so true. That's like, you, you, you know, you clean a magazine on a guy's face and he doesn't die. See, that shit winds me up. That shit winds me up. But that's another conversation. Okay, so firstly, yeah, so these are the two, so these are the two zones. By the way, guys, I operate 100 miles an hour. So I jump in between, you know, I jump to and fro in concepts. So please forgive me if you know, I'm going so fast and I answer one question and go on to another topic. But I think my regular guys, you know, and the members, patrons, you guys are kind of used to me right now. So, you know, if I move at 100,000 miles an hour, you guys are listening at that same speed as well. Okay. So, Hong Kong, um, Tokyo right now is going to open. And we're going to see how Tokyo responds to this information of price collapsing. When I say collapsing, just moving within its average daily range, you know. I'm not the channel that's going to hype up the, the price. Just look at the thumbnail. Bitcoin does drop, but don't get fudged up, <laughs> you know? All right. So what are we looking for? We are effectively looking for Bitcoin to form a low in this area. Patterns always occur at moving averages because they are key focal points in the chart. Why? Because eyes are looking at them. Market makers know that people are watching these averages. Yeah? We want Bitcoin to come back up and hit the 50-day moving average on the hourly. When it hits the 50-day moving average, we anticipate the following. A rise up. A retrace back down. But when that retrace cannot go any lower than this zone here. All right? And then... It needs to come back up, continuation to the upside. If and only if Bitcoin recovers up to the 50-day moving average, it would be in line with the M2 zone. If it comes and tests the 50-day, pulls back and holds the M2 zone and bounces away from it, our projection point will effectively be the 56,573. If it hits the 56,573, the moving averages would have would have been skewed to the upside. And then it breaks out the M4. Does that. It will retrace 
to come back down and test the zone. All right. And then we want to see it continue back up, which will then lead us to the infamous happy days projection point. All right. But as I said, <laughs> if it doesn't do that, no problem, because you can still trade on the basis of price hitting the 50 day moving average. All right. Because look, here's the pattern drop retrace continuation to the downside yeah that's effectively what we are looking for so there's always there's you know don't blindly place a trade guys build the confluence all right because that's how you survive in this game when everything is stacked in your favor the RSI, what's it saying to me? On the hourly, the RSI is outside the volatility band. Okay, we need to see a shark fin. It needs to show a shark fin. Look, here's an example of a shark fin right there. Shark fin, all right? Look at that. Look at that W formation. Yeah? Divergence. Price making the low. RSI at the highs right there, you know? Not outside the volatility band. Back inside. Okay? Tokyo is open. Let's see how she handles it. And guys, you know what? Tonight we hit 3,000 watchers in the stream. That's the first time we've ever done that. We've got 1,500 likes. If we can hit to 2,000 likes, that'll be crazy, guys. I would really appreciate if we could hit 2,000 likes. I know it's quite far away. It's 1,500 now. But if we can get 2,000 likes, I would really appreciate it. I hope you've enjoyed tonight as well, man. It's the first time, you know. It is the first time doing this. And what's going to happen next? Can you explain to me the pivot? Oh, yes. Um, and Blake, the M points themselves, okay, are... Um, they are, yes, they are effectively support one, pivot one, resistance two, you know, on that concept. Okay? Yes. Grateful for PC Shed. God bless you, PC Shed, man. Thank you so much, my brother. Okay, and after this stream finishes, we've got a, we have a podcast because my guy, Mike Dutch, my good friend that I'm working with, he's the one that helps me set up the streams. You know, he's behind the scenes of it all, guys. Mad props to Mike Dutch, okay? He effectively is running a podcast, which is the after show of the Traders Reality um, stream, okay? And tonight, he's got a guy on there, a very close friend of his, who is... In my opinion, the guy for crypto security. He's the guy. All right. All right. <laughs> Boom shakalaka, man. Fair play to you, bro. Okay. But yeah, um, make your way to that stream when that stream finishes. The links are in there right now. It says, there you go. Check out Mike Dutch. That's why it's helpful. Okay. But um, Gregory, it sounds like this trading is like a high tech robbery with conning wits as the gun. <laughs> <laughs> you know what Gregory that is very true but this stream is about jumping on the bullet all right we're about following the bullet okay we ain't about getting shot we want to jump on the bullet whilst it's on the move all right that's what we're about okay so thank you very much for getting the likes up if you can get it to 2k that'll be great but if you're brand new to the channel, hope you've subscribed. You know, hope to see you all again. I have a migraine. I need to get myself rested. I stream every single night, guys, near enough. Okay? I stream every night. On Saturday, just to let you guys know, I hope you members are in here tonight. Okay? But on Saturday, guys, I'm going to be talking on... Um, I'm going to be talking about Forex strategies. And we're going to be looking at some moving average strategies that I have that I use with this system. So that's going to help you guys understand the moving averages as well. And as every Saturday passes, we're going to get to a point where we're going to collate everything together. And then hopefully what I am actually trying to do is do some live trades and record those live trades and discuss with you guys on the Saturday, just the members and the patrons as well, and discuss with you guys what to expect when you're trading, when you're scalping or when you're trading using the system in Forex. Okay. So 
1700 likes i'm happy with that guys god bless you all right i'm gonna get myself sorted out make yourselves over to um mike dutch okay i'm gonna be going over there as well you know i'm not gonna leave you guys just like that i'm gonna make my way over there okay and then we're gonna play it by ear and see what mike has got for us okay but i want to thank everyone tonight man i want to thank you everyone tonight for coming through frank castle thank you very much so you didn't have to donate so much my friend and anyone else that has donated thank you so much okay um aries can you tell me what support we can be hold on a sec okay can you tell me what support we can using after price going below 800 mate? when price below breaks below, look the 800 day ema is on the on the hourly but it's the 200 day on the four hourly all right so you just need to pay attention to what it's doing on the four hourly right now because that is a very focal point ask yourself the question thank you very much adriana ask yourself the important question right market makers always always move price and they create these patterns at the moving averages why because that's where they reset the zones okay tokyo has now officially got into the zone guys here we go Tokyo is now alive and kicking. My time is wrong. Ignore that, okay? Now the new candle's in play. Happy days. Let's see if she comes back up. Is this the zone? Three pins to the low. I leave that with you guys, all right? Mad love to all of you. Have a lovely evening. Take care. Thank you.